Yeah. It's almost time for a haircut for old Geordie Bear here. Hello everyone, I am Benji, this is my coffee, this is my terrible $10 watch, and this is another episode of VNS. <laughs> Let's start off this video with a YouTuber that I love to watch when I'm having a shit day because it's just, it's like enlightening. It gives me something positive to, you know, bask in. Because I am one of those people that has a brain and I'm one of those people who like to use logic in my life. Nevertheless, first YouTuber on this list is JJ Discussions. Jordan discusses all sorts of shit. Fact number seven, rich people are making it increasingly harder to just fucking live in this world because there's so many rich people that live under the delusion that they are one day going to have all of the money in the world and then money will be worthless to all of us and only worth something to them. So we're going to find some other form of currency. But regardless, they're making it extremely hard to just live by raising the prices of everything. All of the rents that he does on his channel are very un scripted and you can tell but then again so am I because I kind of just go on tangents and don't make much sense and therefore a vast majority of it goes into the bloopers and uh yeah, you see that shit. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk about something that I see a lot of people, mainly guys, complaining about. Uh, and this, of course, is a little thing known as the friend zone. I really don't get these guys who claim to be like a super nice guy and they're super awesome, but then go and complain all the hell when the girl doesn't give them what they want. One of the most notable and funny videos, in my opinion, would have to be iPhone Rage. He talks about the fact that iPhone just keeps digging and digging and digging for more and more money. And okay, I know that that's the thing that companies are supposed to do, you know, just sort of grab at your pockets and be like, don't give it to me. You know what? I'm not gonna talk. Just Jordan, take it away. Uh, we're sorry, but it appears you didn't spend $50 on this little piece of plastic that costs us 12 cents to make. Please go to your local Apple store and be screwed with no loot so that you can charge your phone again. I have gone through 30 chargers in the past four months for this stupid little iPhone I bought. Little bits of plastic and wire that should be five dollars at a fucking 7-Eleven. Now this guy seems to cop a lot of shit and I can see why because a lot of the topics that he does cover are very sensitive. Some of them, you know, are things that people were just like, I don't agree with that so I'm just gonna spam your channel with unnecessary bullcrap. You know what I mean. People just like to troll other people. Once upon a time he had really really long hair and then he moved on to having like this really different haircut. He had a shit ton of views. Maybe it was just because of the fact that he sort of disappeared for a while, but it just... something happened to his channel where he's just lost so many views. And not necessarily subscribers as well, but it just seems as though he's got like 15, 16,000 subscribers and not everyone seems to be watching his videos lately and I don't know why that is because a lot of the stuff that he does talk about is really relevant. Uh, to today. And now, suddenly, now that she's gone, everybody is all, Oh, I would have stood up for her! I was just kidding when I was bullying her! There was even this guy on YouTube who wrote a rap about how much he cared about Amanda Todd. Well, where the fuck were you when she needed you? She posted that video online! Why, you clearly have a YouTube account, why didn't you go and send her a message? Be like, hey, do you need to talk? Do you need someone to vent to? I'm sure... Not a lot of you fucking did that, right? One of the best videos, I cannot agree with him any more than what he has already said because what he said just hit the nail on the head was his Nash Greer sucks video. Maybe I might not like it, but who knows, maybe like, you know, 13 year olds might like it, whoever, but this guy has absolutely zero talent whatsoever and he's risen to fame really quickly on the internet. These days it seems like people can get YouTube famous from doing nothing. I'm flailing my arms about doing stupid shit because I can. So it re what really bugs me about this Nash Grayer fellow is that he is literally famous for nothing but his stupid fucking eyes. But you know what you're gonna lose? You're gonna lose fan activity and you're gonna lose fan respect and you're also going to lose the respect of fellow YouTubers. Oh, I don't need the respect of fellow YouTubers. I, I have a bunch of subscribers, whatever. I don't need the community. Get the fuck over yourself, asshole. If you have a larger following, you have a larger responsibility. 
and I explained that to him. I'm like, she's been my best friend since I was five years old. Oh, no, that's your fault for being involved with her and talking to her because you're making this guy jealous, so you're provoking him. So there's nothing we can do about it. We're not going to help you. And just sort of as an off-topic thing, isn't it just totally fucking mind-blowing that whenever there's a cop, like, around us, like, we're on the road and there's a cop around us, we feel more paranoid than we do safe? Isn't that just the fucking most backwards thing you've ever heard? You're just gonna die alone, because no one likes people who like metal. Oh, really? Fuck. How am I gonna tell my 5,000 subscribers that like metal and also like me? It shouldn't just be JJ discussions, it shouldn't just be like, JJ discusses logic. That's it. <laughs> So if you haven't seen this guy before and you want to go and check him out, definitely go and check out the description box down below. All the links to everything you saw here today will be down there. And Jordan, to you, if you are watching this video, fucking thumbs up. Keep doing your shit, man, because you are killing it. Spread the knowledge. Spread that shit. If you play guitar, you're not a musician, okay? You have to be hot. You have to be able to scream. Awesome! Well, I suck at guitar, so I'm halfway there. Okay, now let's try this whole screaming thing. Yeah! How was that? Am I a musician yet? Uh -huh. Okay, okay, no, seriously. It's like right in the way, I can't even see what I'm trying to... Now you're just being a pest. Fine. Second YouTuber today is a channel that doesn't seem to have that much activity, but the videos that they bring out are... They are mint. And I mean like funny, really well animated, they are red minus. If you don't know this channel, you need to know this channel. I don't condone drugs to anyone, but just... If you're that kind of person, this channel would be like the scariest thing on acid. See, there's something for everybody. Like you'd be in happy la la land and then all of a sudden you just like acid plus brain plus red minus nyan cats equals mush. Lots of, just, just like a puddle. How long have you been watching that? Dude, I don't even know. Side note as well, if you want to be creeped out in like the middle of the night, or at least creeped out while you're walking home or something like that, watch Wilhelm Park while you're like walking home with, in a street with like no lights or something. That will creep you out something severe. There's supposed to be some kind of creature that's made of tentacles, with glowing eyes and a huge fiery mouth full of sharp teeth. It only comes out in the dark. They say it hides in the woods until the full moon is covered and can even disguise itself as a human in order to lure in its prey. I've never heard of that. Yeah, that's kind of a new one. Oh, here's your bus. Until the ending comes along and then all of a sudden you're like... <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it, so go see it. Pinnacle porn always finds its way into everything. When it comes to animating cartoon characters like uh, Pikachu from Pokemon or just Pokemon in general, they do a really good job with, you know, keeping that character design uh, as authentic as possible, which is great because, you know, when you want to see Pokemon be done uh, not by the creators, you want to watch it and be like, that's Pikachu, that's Copping, that's Goldeen, that's all those other Pokemon, you know, obviously they have those, the Jap animation quality to them, uh, the, like the anime uh, quirky quality to it, but it works to its ultimate advantage. <laughs> Look how mad she gets when I stop playing. Do you think you should be teasing it like that? Come on, she likes it. I sound just like Jack Johnson. Ugh. <sighs> hey, mister, leave this place. You go away. It's a scary place here. Oh, what a cool dog. <laughs> That's a German Shepherd! So I was just wondering if I could borrow your suit sometime. I was just 
talking to one of my friends and we were like, wouldn't it be so funny if like we knew what it was like to be fat? Oh my god, will you shut So then I was like, Shadow Blade, Shadow Blade, Shadow Blade, Soul Fist. And it was like a total K. Are you even listening to me? Again, if you want to go ahead and check that channel out, link in the description or on the screen. Start off by making your bed. It is the centerpiece of your room, and it'll make things look a lot neater. However, if you own an animal, this task may be a little more complicated. Attempt to bond and reason with the animal. Explain to it that a neat and tidy room is an absolute necessity, and that it must cooperate with you. Just kidding. This is a wild animal that you're dealing with. It is likely that you will spend the majority of your time fighting off a vicious attack. And last but not least, I want to tell you guys about a channel that is real comedic, and just very chilled out and uh, not so blasé like a lot of other channels out there, you know, when they go out and do pranks and I want to fight you! That's not a prank. <laughs> now, her channel does not cover any pranks at all, but it, I meant laughs-wise. She has genuine comedic material for laughter, and she is Hillary or whatever. Next, assess the nightmare that is your closet and subsequently get distracted by the items inside of it. Look at how Canadian I am! Go, go, Power Rangers! Awoo! Covering topics from movie reviews, requested reviews, comedy sketches, random situations that you get stuck in in life and don't know how to deal with and so on and so forth. She even actually started her channel out a few years ago with a few reviews on How I Met Your Mother and those videos got some really good attention. She has about 215 subscribers at the moment, so she's very, very small. But the reason why I'm showing you guys this channel today is because she deserves a little bit more notoriety than that. Tom, I'm standing here amidst the heated debate over a recent petition to change the name of the city from San Francisco to something a little less gay. I'm Farrah Abraham, and I was on 16 and Pregnant and Teen Mom, and now I'm in a sex tape with James Dean, and I'm a gay mom. I mentioned movie reviews. She actually has come up with this new cool and cute sort of a way of being able to actually explain how the movie uh, is laid out uh, by drawing out all the characters in like little cute stick figure people and stuff like that it just it, it's really it's cool it's a new and fun thing to do I think you know it, it's definitely creative I drew the Heisenberg there because that Breaking Bad baby joke in the movie was just insanely funny lots of dick jokes some boobs jokes lots of weed jokes it was honestly a really really funny movie She's a huge fan of Mad TV from way back in the day. I mean, like, the original Mad TV, not, like, all the shit that they came out with after, you know, when it tumbled down into, like, a snowball effect and just ended up creating more shit on itself. No, she's a fan of, like, old-school Nicole Sullivan and just all the really old-school stuff. And it really shows in a lot of her videos because a lot of the, you know, especially with her characters, characters video, you can definitely see that it has an influence on her uh, comedic side. She's really good with voice impressions too. I mean, like, good. Definitely watch some of those voice impressions. Why not read one of those awkwardly sexual stories in 15 different voices? Let's begin. I'm off and instead leaving up. She kissed Corinne's cheek, then listened and strode towards the foyer. In moments, the front door slammed. Jackson inspected her face. What's the matter? Maybe she could tell him. Surely he'd had flings during that year too. She's going to be coming out with some more in the future. She just doesn't really know what it is that she wants to do uh, to the audience and so on and so forth. A lot of people do get quite offended when it comes to making videos on YouTube and whatnot. So don't be worried because, you know, if people like your content, then they'll subscribe to you. And if they don't, you know, well, that's their loss. Try to do jokes that aren't exactly unapologetic, but don't shelter yourself a little too much because, you know, that's what comedy is all about. Comedy is all about letting go and just saying what's on your mind in a, in a way that's actually funny and not just being a dick. 
What, what would happen if I continued to do that exercise and you hadn't said anything? Would I suddenly sprout into a she-beast and you would blame yourself for unleashing a she-beast on this world? Like, I don't, under I don't understand what part of your brain when all the cogs were turning when you suddenly decided that girl over there oh shit she's gonna get some rounded ass shoulder well that's not okay better tell her not to do that and while i'm at it i better remind her that her boobies need to be up here for her sake of course but then again sometimes being a dick is good because it's being truthful and it's being honest and it's slamming people in the face with something that they may not have realized before and now they're just like huh rethink, all right, this guy's got a point, or this girl's got a point, or that's actually just damn straight. I walked you earlier. That's plenty of exercise for one day. Oh, no, that, that cupcake was from a charity bake sale. Those calories don't even count if they're for a good cause, right? There's just way too much confusing information about food out there. Are eggs bad for me? What about fruit? I hear chocolate's good for me. Gross. <laughs> and who are you, hun? Mm. I'm the shape of my community service. What's that, Angus? Actually, it sounds as if she's from a region of... Excuse me, bitch. She was thinking that you was better than me. You was asking for a slot. As always, links everywhere. Go ahead and check the channel out. It's really entertaining. I suggest you do, because... Awesomeness approaches. Quick heads up as well, just letting you guys know my gaming channel is finally up and running. I'm gonna be doing games for Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, yes, old school PS1 games, PS2 games, Nintendo 64 games, Super Nintendo games, maybe even Game Boy games, or uh, even new games for like the PC and whatnot. I don't know, I still have to sort of work out the bugs in my computer. But if you want to go ahead and check out my gaming channel, it has been very dead for a long time, so, but totally, go and check that out. Subscribe to all the channels that you saw here today, or at least go check them out, or whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed everything you saw here today, and I hope you guys are all having a mad day. And until next time, peace. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, mister, what are you doing? Excuse me, sir. We're haunting you. Yeah, you. We're gonna haunt you until the end. Unless you leave, you gotta run far from here. Hey, excuse me, do you think we're pretty scary?